Hi there, welcome to another episode of Food and Beverage with Gospel Onyemoa. Recall that on our last episode, we talked about seafood and how healthy they are. And I also mentioned that some seafood contain mercury. If you didn't know that or you'd like to know about the video, click on the link right here and it takes you directly to the video and you know more about seafood. And yes, I would recommend that you try a seafood today. Today we'll be discussing another form of food. I'm quite sure you may have consumed it in one way or the other, but you didn't quite know that's what they are called. If you don't like staying too long in the kitchen, or maybe you don't really know how to cook, or sometimes you wish to make your meals a little bit more quickly, then you should stay and watch this video because I have something very important and entertaining to share with you. We'll be talking about convenience food, not necessarily junk food. I'll explain a lot of them shortly. In today's busy world, not everyone has the time to prepare a meal from scratch. Convenience food include foods such as canned vegetables, frozen meals, and so on. This age is that of rapid development in all sectors. Major technological breakthroughs are taking place, revolutionizing the way we live. Gone are the days when women are confined within the four walls of their homes and spend so much time in the kitchen. Simply put, Convenience foods are very convenient for people who cannot spend much time in food preparation as well as people with little or no culinary skills. Convenience foods are prepared food that have been preserved or processed to reduce or eliminate the time of preparation and cooking that may be required. They are the answer for a busy homemaker who wishes to prepare a meal quickly. Some of these foods are pre-cooked and need to be heated before serving. They are usually sold in packets, tins and bottles. Fruits, vegetables, meat, fish and cereals are available in convenience form. The term convenience food applies to the form in which food is obtained. For instance, flour, a bottle of chopped tomatoes are more easily carried home and more convenient to store than the ingredients in their fresh form. There are different types of convenience food. Some of them include canned foods. These are foods that have been subjected to some processing and then sealed in cans like sardines, corned beef, milk, etc. Dehydrated foods. These are foods in which the moisture content have been drastically reduced. Example, potato flakes, soup, sauces, instant tea, coffee, and chocolate. Quick frozen foods. These are food already cleaned, trimmed, and then kept in a frozen condition like meats, pies, poultry, fish, cakes, and so much more. Convenience food have different uses. Some of them are used as the main dish or they could be used as flavoring. Also, they are used to improve the nutritive quality of the food. There are certain factors to consider when selecting convenience food that you intend to consume. Convenience food should suit the location they are intended for. Also, you should consider the storage facilities available. Don't forget to avoid buying fake products and the cost should be considered. One very crucial point to consider is the fact that you should try not to buy expired product so you don't ingest bad food. There's so many advantages of using convenience food such as it saves time and energy, it is good for people who cannot cook, it saves your brain power for planning of the kind of meals you should make, it's a good choice for inexperienced cook, it is an alternative to conventional fast food, it is available in and out of season, it makes cooking faster, it is convenient for your travels, it is a good alternative for people who don't have a kitchen. And last but not the least, it is easier to clean up after eating a convenience food. There are also some disadvantages which include convenience food is often unhealthy. Some of them are very expensive. They are rich in enhancers and preservatives. Also, some of the nutrients may have been destroyed by the processing method. Continuous consumption may lead to obesity and overweight. Convenience food may contain plenty allergens. And of course, you don't really know what is contained in the convenience food that you're purchasing. That is a major disadvantage. Now, don't get confused about the difference between junk food and convenience food. Junk foods are those items with empty calories. They are usually unhealthy, which means they only offer you a high amount of calories without providing you with the required nutrients required by the body. Convenience food can be gotten from food stores and convenience stores nearest to you. There are different forms of food and right here on food and beverage, I bring you all the information you need to know about food and beverage. Recall that this vlog is also a platform to showcase locally and international products which are not getting the attention they deserve. If you like a product to showcase right here, drop a comment or send a message to the email in the video description. Have you had a convenience food recently? How was it and how did you like it? 
leave a comment about that in the comment section and let me know what you think and that brings us to the end of this episode remember no matter what you eat or drink it doesn't matter if it's some seafood or convenience food or some beverage nothing takes the place of portable water stay hydrated see you on the next one and stay convenient bye